The Poseidon from Dark Energy is, as you can see there, a destruction tested battery pack with a light in there as well. And speaking of packs, I put it back in the case here, the pack, to show you how it comes because some companies, I'd say like Apple, get their packaging just right. They do such a cool job packaging and Dark Energy did a great job with this and I wanted to show it to you. On the back here, there is a little diagram and this will charge pretty much anything that takes a USB charging cable, your smartphone, radio, cameras, GPSs, even some flashlights now are charging with the uh, USB cables. And so here's how it comes. On the side here, there's a little magnetic flap. You lift that up and on the inside here, some more stuff on what it does. There's the light. The thing is basically bomb proof. Well, maybe not bomb proof, but waterproof and drop proof. And I'll get into that. And here's the unit, a little plastic cover here. We'll get that out of the way. So here it is. This comes in two colors, a black and a real tree camo, as you can see. And full disclosure, they sent this to me to check out. And when I heard they were sending me one, I really hoped for the black, admittedly, because I thought it was a little more conservative color. But after I got this, I realized everything I have is black. I have black flashlights, I have black knives, everything. Well, my cell phone's not black, but I was really hoping for the black. But I like this because it's different than anything else I have. Admittedly, I'm not a hunter. I'm not going out in the woods with this thing, so the real tree is not really necessary for me. But I like the color on it. I like the orange. It's just different than other stuff that I have. So I like the two options. Pick your option you want, the black or the real tree. So here's this. Just some initial impressions when you first pick it up. The thing just feels like it is tough and quality. The thing, like I said, is basically destruction proof. And there are a lot of other battery packs out there. And so a lot of them are aluminum, things like that. And I would feel like I need to just very gently put it down because they just don't, don't, they don't seem that tough. But this thing, and okay, this is minimal here, but I feel like I'm going to damage my desk before I damage the unit itself. So I'll, I'll stop doing that. But the thing just feels tough. Oops. Try that one again. See if we can hit the puddle this time. Apparently I suck at throwing this thing. One more try. Eh, a little bit of a puddle. I, mean, I wouldn't do that with most chargers. Let's see if it still works. Where is the battery? There's the battery side. Hit the button, and you can see still have two lights there. On the outside here, there is almost sort of a tire track type grippy pattern there. It's very grippy, easy to hold. On the sides here, a orange, or if you have the black one, black, kind of rubberized plastic. I'd say more plastic than rubberized with some bumpers on the side here, but I'll, I'll get back into all this. The unit itself, first impression, it has a good weight to it, nine ounces, and it just feels very sturdy. Let me show you what it comes with in the packaging here. There's a quick start guide, a sticker, some legal stuff, and some stuff about the warranty that you can just click on there. The quick start guide here, let me just show you a few quick things in here to, uh, to note. There's some diagrams in here, talks about the light, but here's some of the interesting features of this. It's waterproof and it says here it's IP68 rated. Oh, I do a lot of flashlight reviews and the flashlights are generally IPX8 rated. And if you look at it, IPX, the X is a placeholder because they are not hard particle type, uh, hard material type resistance. So the six does hard material, the, X, the eight does liquids and the scales go up to six and eight respectively. So this is as tough as it gets with the weather rating. And it talks about here, you can submerge it four feet for 45 minutes, which ought to be plenty enough time to get out of the creek that you dropped it into. Uh, and also an interesting, fetal, interesting note along with this is that they talk about some coating of water resistant chemicals on the inside. There is a little uh, flap here that covers the end and it's pretty snug, pops open. And in here are where the charging ports are. And there's some rubberized pieces here that will fit into those holes and it will keep that snug and keep water from getting in there. But I've seen a couple other videos on this where it's either accidentally been dumped in the lake or the river with this completely open and also where it's been submerged in water and it kept working. I would be afraid to let the water get in here, but it's coated and it's made well enough that even if some water gets in here, it will keep working. The one where it was submerged in the river had to dry out a little bit, but eventually kept working. And the one where it was dumped in a gallon of water 
pulled it right out and it kept working. So even, even with this open, there's still some water protection, but ideally you want to keep it closed for better protection, but you can submerge it. No problem. It's drop proof to the military standard. Some other videos, they've dropped it off bridges. I don't have that capability, but I'll try and expose it a little bit. Uh, they've also done some, if you look at some of the dark energy videos, they shoot it and it can take some bullet rounds and, and do okay with some of those. Battery capacity, 10,000 milliamp hours, and it says so right on there. So milliamp hours is a measure of uh, how much energy a, a unit will hold or how much the, a battery charge. So your, your cell phone, it's gonna charge an average cell phone around three-ish times depending. I have a Droid Turbo 2. The battery on this, I believe, is 3,800 milliamp hours. So I'll get a little under three charges with this. For you iPhone people, the iPhone 6 and or 6S and the 6S Plus are 1,715 and 2,750 milliamp hours, respectively. So you're going to get between over five to a little more than three three charges with with the iPhone. So plenty of juice for whatever you need to charge, and you can charge multiple units even at the same time because there are two ports here, which I'll get into in a little bit. The rest, let's see what else you get in here. There is a charging cable. And the charging cable has, it matches, you get a black cable if you get the black one, but this one, the Realtree, you get a charging cable that matches the Realtree camouflage on this. And the charging cable is wrapped in 20 feet of paracord. So if you need to undo that, if you're using this out in the woods in a survival type situation, heaven forbid, you could undo the paracord in a pinch if you needed it. On the edge of the charging cables on the ends, there are also some covers to help with a little bit of extra weather protection. And you can undo those covers. And you can see that the cable goes down into here. You can see it down in between there. But this cable is super pliable and flexible such that if you need to ball it up and put it in your pocket, whatever you need to do with it, it's going to fold up no problem. So nice cable there. There is also a sort of, I don't know, lanyard is not really the word for it, but this will fit through here. And then, let's see if I can do this with the camera. Fits over here to act as a strap, and then they include a carabiner. This is a locking carabiner, so fully locked. You can see it won't open. Unscrew it some. You can then open it and put it through here. And you can use this to strap it on. If you want to carry this on the outside of your backpack or anything else that you might be carrying this on, you can use it to carry on it. Let me give you a little better look at the rest of this. So I mentioned already, pretty traction-y kind of feel around the outside here. Around the edges, there is this bumper such that when you are dropping it, it's going to hit on these corners and not directly. And you can see from where I've dropped it here, there is a little bit of wear and tear, but the unit itself is still fine. We're just walking along maybe on the road and, oops, oops, it goes bouncing along. And that's where also you've got these rubber corners that are helping protect it from, from bouncing around. Again, still charged. Still going with the light. On the edges here, this flap comes up and it's pretty tight, snaps up, and then there's two charging ports here. And it lists on the outside here, 2.4 amps and one amp because a lot of devices these days are starting to take faster charging rates. Like my Droid Turbo, Droid Turbo 2 does rapid charging and it will accept that faster charging power or faster speed. However, if you wanna use this on something that does slower and you still use the 2.4 amp output, that's fine. The device will only take what it can get. You're not going to damage it. And you can also charge both two devices at the same time. This charges by, you can charge it a couple ways. Plug this into here and then plug the other end into a standard type outlet, plug it into a computer, you know, any type of one of those uh, USB plugs that you can use to charge things and it will charge the whole unit in about five hours alternatively you're, if you're charging a device you plug this into one of these plug it into the device itself and you can see charging right there so that works well 
Aside from that, in here there's also a light, and the light, there's two buttons on this. The light button on this side, you can see there's a little light symbol on there, and then on this side is the battery charge. The light, you press that, it comes on, and it's, it's light enough for, if you're in the dark, for doing some close-up area lighting, maybe in a tent, in a car, you're not going to do any search and rescue with it, but it's actually really decently bright for what you'd expect for one LED. Second press will get you into the SOS, if you're so inclined to use that, and then third press gets you off. On the other side is the battery charge indicator, and you press that, and there are four lights here, and it will light up to show you what percentage, in this case, 50% charged. And when it gets down to that last 10%, this last indicator light will turn red to show you that you are almost out of power. And then you can snap that closed. So I've been using this for a while. I take it to work, and because I'm not out in the harsh environment too, too much, but I use it to charge some of my phone sometimes at work if the battery's getting a little bit low. I wish I had this before I went to Nepal because this would have been great to take on me up in the tea houses, places where there was no electricity for charging my phone. Also great for in a uh, when you're traveling, if you're, you're on a plane. In airports these days, a lot of people get huddled around the plugs. And so this would be great because if you don't need to be huddled around those plugs, you can charge it on the plane, wherever else, and you can get several charges out of it. The only real con I can see to this is that it doesn't have any solar charging capability built into it. And even with that, if you put some solar panels on this, they would be small. I'm not sure how much they would do, and it would make this inherently less tough because the panels themselves are probably not nearly as indestructible as this unit itself. So if you're going to be out somewhere for some extended period of time, get a separate solar panel array and you can plug it into this to charge it. No problem if you like. This puddle I think I should be able to hit since it's 10 feet long. See how it's doing. A little more submerged this time. I shake it off. And still charged. Let's open it up. It's nice and snug to open, so it's going to be protected. And there's the light and the SOS and off. So still working, despite throwing on the cement a bunch of times and down into the water a bunch of times. Ground puddle here. Submerged down in there in the mud. And about now. There we go, still charging. Open it up. And on the inside, still going with the light. Now, you know, aside from the fact that but yeah, I'm just throwing in some, some puddles here and under the cement. I mean, this is far more torture than I would typically expose any charger that I have to, and it is taking it no problem at all. How do you check the power? Still working. How does that water feel? So there you go, the Dark Energy Poseidon. This is a nearly indestructible battery pack to take with you on trips or wherever else you might need some portable energy. I'll put some links down below and you can pick one up. Check them out, cool little device.